On this episode of Miami Made, we visit Marco Mall of Florida Filmhouse. He's the executive producer and co-founder at the 5,000 square foot film studio in the heart of Wynwood. Man, thank you guys for coming. I mean, basically Florida Filmhouse, we've been here now for about 11 years. Um, we shoot movies, TV shows, you know, uh, music videos, commercials, all everything, right? Marco says he and his co-founder and partner, Vlad G, started to generate funds to shoot feature films by starting off with shooting music videos for some of the biggest names in hip hop. And we're shooting everybody's music video from T-Pain to Lil Wayne to Evie Queen to Pitbull to, you know, all, the, all of our friends, basically, right? And then from there, we were able to take that money and buy a lot of our own gear and position ourselves where we were able to underwrite a lot of the costs for us to start shooting our feature films. And at that same time, we also had a bunch of interns that were coming in working on music videos, and those interns then turned into film professionals through all those different productions. With seven feature films under their belt, Florida Filmhouse has accomplished a lot over the years and has seen the film industry in the Magic City evolve with them. Well, tell me a little bit about the film industry in Miami as a whole. Is it growing? Is it, what do you see happening here? Yeah, the film industry of Miami is booming. And the thing is, is that you know, we're always pushing for tax incentives to help grow the film industry. The tax incentives will come, it would definitely boom crazy, right? But we're booming anyways because we have beautiful locations. You're gonna see a lot of films being made by Miami filmmakers and Broward filmmakers over the next 10 years. And then you already have like all the big productions coming here because of Miami. It's like one of the sexiest cities in the world. Florida Filmhouse keeps busy with their urban film festival, their youth program, their distribution component, and their partnership in a streaming company. But they always make time for the community. So um, you said you have to, over the years, you had to grow into the space and, and allow for other folks to grow. Tell me about the youth program, a little bit more about that. What's it called, First Take? It's called First Take Youth Film Program. I've always been heavily into philanthropy, right? And, and kind of like working with kids. So I would do like little programs and I would see how when I would go there and talk to the kids, how their eyes would light up, right? And I saw there was a need for us to have a home base that allowed black and brown kids that looked like me that were from the neighborhood opportunity to be able to grow into this space and, and, and if they want to be in film, have a place where they can go and work comfortably together so that we can develop together. Why is it important for you to be so involved in the community? You're involved in government, you're involved with the youth, you're involved in just trying to get people to, to understand, appreciate, and thrive in the, uh, the film industry. Why is that important to you? You know, the thing is, I mean, short answer is my mom. That's the short answer, right? My mom was very, you know, I grew up in the church. My mom was the type of person that would always pull over on the side of the road and pick up people and give them rides. And it comes down to, if you know something can be better, make it better. If you know you can help, help. You know, it's like, that's just life. You have to do what you gotta do to make everything better for people around you. So shooting your music videos, shooting your movies, all of that stuff is all fun, it's all good, but it seems like Florida Filmhouse is really about the people at the end of the day. Absolutely. We wanna make content that educates or exposes people to different cultures. It helps us all get a little bit cooler and closer together, right? So it makes the world a little bit better if we can make content that, you know, just educates and motivates. What can you tell us about uh, Florida Film House's future? What's next for you guys? So we just came out of our Urban Film Festival. We had a huge success. We're releasing three films that we've shot and edited. And we're just gonna keep, you know, piping away at it. You know what I mean? Our thing is, you know, keep filming, keep supporting other filmmakers, keep making great content, um, helping people figure out ways to monetize from their content, not just us, but other filmmakers as well. And just being uh, like an open beacon in, in, you know, to the film community. Sir, I really want to thank you so much for spending the time talking to me, telling us about Florida Film House, showing us around, and, and, and telling us about all the good that you're doing for our people and our community. So thank you so much. Appreciate you. 